Hey there Tubes, Redneck Brian here, really quick video. I'm still having uh, issues with this uh, snow blower, or not with the blower, the engine primarily. Uh, I'm going to fire it up for you and show you what it's doing. Uh, this carburetor is absolutely crap on this snow blower. There's no adjustments in it at all. This carburetor absolutely sucks. So I'll show you what it's doing. I got the, uh, it's the only way it's going to keep on running with the air cleaner off. Like it's like the carburetor stuck sometimes, stuck not stuck other times, like the float. So I'm gonna fire it up for you, show you. See what it's doing there? That's what it keeps on doing. Um, if the air cleaner was on there, it actually flood itself out. But um, like I said, this carb has zero adjustments, so I might just buy go out and buy a new carburetor. I don't know yet. Also, these studs will not come out. Of course, uh, they're stuck in there. I can take the intake off, but these studs are stuck in there. So, not never really had this issue before. Like none of the linkages are messed up. So if anyone has any suggestions, like I've had this problem before, but I've just done adjustments. So the float seems to be fine because I've had it running on other occasions and it stays running no problem. And the, sometimes the float gets stuck. I'm gonna show you in the next video. I can't do it right now because I gotta let this drain what I actually had to do to the float to make the float work correctly at least it did work correctly for a while but um so yeah I'm, I'm at wit's end with this stupid bugger so I might just end up um, putting a new carb on it if anyone has any tips uh, to 9 horse to come see Enduro XL and that's pretty much it bye for now okay uh, really quick this is what I had to do this carburetor to make it work take it apart and I'll show you yeah I had to actually goop it in there to make this work because this float what was happening is was not holding in there um, I'm gonna go drain the gas out of this so some gas in there the gasket is in there so so I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going on unless I'm missing a spring somewhere like uh, in this mixture here, I could be missing a spring there. I don't know. Because uh, I had this other little spring. It's right there by the head of the hammer. Um, I forget where it came out of. So, so yeah, that's... And when this is up, it does shut off. Unless it's not getting proper clearance. Right there, that should be off. I may have figured out my problem. If you look there, when that goes up to the up position, it does not, it goes up too high. So this might actually not be the right float ball. Hmm. I gotta try to find the original float ball. Just realized that I have no idea where I put the original float ball though. Also, if that gooped, I don't know if I can even get that out of there. We will have to see. So. But there's, there's what's going on. So as you can see, that's actually coming too high. That could actually be my, my problem, is when the float comes all the way up, you can't shut the gas off. And this being plastic, you can't bend these stupid buggers either, which sucks, I hate plastic parts. So we'll see, that, that could be my problem. Um, if it is, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off, because I, well, like I said, I put the goop in there, which is, um, cold weld because I thought that was my problem it worked for a little while but then now it won't work so I'll have to wait and see so stay tuned um, 
for more carb problems. Bye for now.